I am so excited to I can't wait. I feel like that's the perfect franchise to reboot and like bring out of this um like incredibly heavily serialized form that it's found itself in these past few years. I don't even know what channel it's on anymore. What channel is that on? Like is it still running as a TV series? Family. I have no clue. Whatever. But I just know that there's been so many iterations of it at this point, like Power Rangers Dino Force and Power and Rangers Backdoor like, Thunder. I'm sure that wasn't one. <laughs> turbo <laughs> Charge. That's Power a Rangers different. Turbo. That's, a, that's different, a different one. That's a different movie. Power dude. Rangers Backdoor Thunder. <laughs> Rated <laughs> Mature. Triple X. <laughs> Where did you get that? What is that even? Where'd you pull that uh, from? By the way, I'm calling it right now. And if you haven't seen the trailers, look it up. It looks amazing. But in. Uh, uh, what's the bad girl's name? Oh my god! Rita's staff is a green coin, and I promise you, the sequel will have the green Power Ranger because they're gonna find. I will call. I will call it right now. Post credits scene. Post credits. If they if if they casted the green ranger, you'll see him. If they haven't casted him, they'll just see the it's, green. It's coin. the one that used to be the white one and the green one. But you might not at first. You might not have to see the green. You might not have to have an actor. You could have That's him just like be generated as a, a in costume. Yeah. You, but I promise you right now, if you look at it and you pause and you look at her staff, there's a green coin at the top of staff. It looks just like the rest of them. And I promise you right now, Green Ranger's coming second. And that's going to be kick-ass. This movie's going to be kick-ass. Make sure you see it. It's going to be awesome. Oh, my God. I can't. I, I literally am so excited. I'm, like, giddy about it. I remember seeing the first Power Rangers movie in 1995, I want to say. It's great. Yeah, it was fantastic. And they look so good, too. Ivan Ooze, I believe, was the oh bad guy. Um, yep. That was oh, fantastic. The, the was only so bad good. thing about that movie is Lord Zed looks so badass, and he's in it for like two seconds. I wish he was in it longer, but um, this movie's going to be great. I, oh, my God, I can't, can't wait. He would be an awesome bad guy for the sequel. I think he will be. Yeah. I think he will be. I think it's going to be Green Ranger's bad guy, but then they're going to have Lord Zed or somebody else, and then Green Ranger switches in the middle of it. Because I'm I, just I'm honestly excited just a little bit more of a backstory on the characters more than just what you get from like the actual TV series and the old movie. So it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be cool. I just like how how they're re, revamping Angel Grove and all that. Yeah, so, I think the casting looks great, man. I think the casting. Can we talk about we have Balkan uh, Skull in this movie? Uh, I don't know, but I bet you're gonna make them actual bullies because in the show he they were bullies, but they were kind of like the you know they kind of. Weren't really super bullied. Didn't they have like a really wonky theme song that always kind of played when they huh? showed us? Oh, sports? yeah, yeah like, it did. It was like really <laughs> I don't, crazy I or something. Yeah. All right, so it was I more have, humorous than anything. Wait, can I, we talk about yeah. the trailers that we saw? First of all, guys, if you guys didn't know, we saw Logan this oh, weekend. Oh, yeah. Yep. And the trailers we saw, I want to see all five movies. Um, quick all plug, five. quick plug before we get into the trailers bet- before, before that. Uh, we are going to be releasing a spoiler cast. Yeah. On Logan. Ooh, yeah. Ooh spoiler cast. Spoilers. If you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch it. Yeah, do not listen to it. We're going to be going... to be spoiled. We're going to start doing that a little bit on the show, guys. There are going to be bonus episodes that we're going to post either before or after this episode airs. More uh, likely after. Uh, posted. Uh, more likely after. Uh, let's just play it safe. Um, but essentially, we're going to give you our full uh, review and thoughts of Logan um, and full spoilers. So again, be warned, uh, but be on the lookout for that. Uh, that should be coming sometime. It's crazy that Obi Wan was in this it. week. Yeah, I can't believe like Xavier and Wolverine made out. That was such a weird. <laughs> that was a weird awkward scene, but really powerful. Yeah, powerful. Very powerful. <laughs> Timely and powerful. <laughs> All the thrusting. Yep, a lot of thrusting. A lot of that's a weird way to make He's, out. Cliff. He can't do that. <laughs> uh, a little bit more. Anyways, um, but yeah. So tell me about the trailers that you saw. Oh, that we saw. Deadpool man. Did, spoiler? No, nah, that's not really a spoiler. No, it's like a. No, it's not a spoiler. Okay. It's not. No, because it's already out there before. That's true. Yeah, it's uh, been out Alien there. Covenant, Spider Man, uh, The Circle. Uh, what was the Char- Scarlett Johansson movie? Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. What else did we see? Uh, Ooh, I just remember when I see them all. And Deadpool was more of a teaser than it was a trailer. Yeah, so. yeah, a little bit of a t- like a tie-in sort of whatever. Yeah. yeah. So with um, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That Guardians the of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. All of them. Looks all of them look great. That trailer is. I'm so pumped for that movie. The only movie I might not go out of my way to see was The Circle, but the rest of those I can't wait. Alien, I can't Dude, wait. How about Kong though? Even that's been oh, out yeah. forever though. Wait, is it out? Is it actually out? We uh, gotta see Kong. Yeah, uh, is it out? I thought yeah, it was out. Right? I think it's out. I, I mean, it Samuel Jackson's in that thing. It looks amazing. We obligated Jackson. Are we obligated to see all Samuel Jackson movies that come? 
now. We have because to, of our yeah. podcast. We Absolutely. are, yeah. Oh, obligated. God. <laughs> again, uh, did, did lawyers to... uh, related to the Jurassic <laughs> Park series. Uh, hold on to your butts. Is a totally separate phrase. Nothing to do with. Uh, what you or Samuel L. Jackson We're just talking about holding on to your wrote. butts because you're excited about holding on to them. You can't wait to listen to us. Yep, that's or it. Or you might shit your pants. Ooh, that could be the name of our spoiler cast. <laughs> Don't shit, shit your, your pants. Sh- shit your pants. Shit Hold your on pants. to your butt. Shit your pants. Nope. Okay, still we'll in the work workshop. We'll still work on that. Still in the workshop. Later. Um, <laughs> okay, of all those movies, I think what I'm probably the most excited for, and I wasn't anticipating being this excited for, was Alien. Whoa, uh, Alien enough. Covenant. That movie looks fantastic. So it's a prequel to the original Alien, as mm-hmm. I understand it. And I just love the style, like the art style that they went in and, and tried to capture uh, that initial Alien movie with the hairstyles. Like everything looks so like beautifully and wonderfully like 80s futuristic. Yeah, yeah. It looks fantastic. It's scary too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To so what's the, what's the actual chronological order of Alien it's in, per- in the movies? So Prometheus was a long, 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 long time ago. Long, and then this is a prequel. Ago. So this is a lot later after Prometheus. So this is... Um, Alien Covenant is yeah. a prequel to then Alien, then Aliens, Aliens 3, then Aliens Resurrection. In the trailer, where does Aliens vs. Predator fit into the whole uh, timeline? I'm not, just kidding. Not at all. No I think those are even before because that's like <laughs> normal modern day. They don't have the futuristic technology. So that's like now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so basically, in the trailer, you see the droid from Prometheus. And I swear he looks he like He has a to droid. be a droid. I yeah. think he has the way, to be. The way he moved in that, when he like turned, I was like, I oh, agree. he's totally Yeah, a he droid. has to be a droid or a human that was in cryogenic freeze when the original one, when Prometheus started. He, he's in way. some way like either he's like gotta another... He's got to be uh, just a model. A model. Yeah. Like, he like looks, a, a C-3PO yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is yeah. his name? Fats? Fats? Who is that? Michael Fassbender. Yeah, he's just awesome, whatever he does. Have you I mean, I ever seen him do something bad? Apparently Assassin's Creed wasn't that great, but I never saw it. I never saw it. I agree. I don't know. That might not be super. I heard it wasn't it's, terrible. It's super hard to make video game movies. This I would watch really it. hard. Uh, the Riddick movie. Well, actually, that was that was, was Riddick game was a after. movie before it, it, the game came after. Apparently, it's really good. Riddick's, there, Riddick's good. Is That's there any movie. video game or movie that you guys think would lend itself to the a... The Last of Us? Hands yeah, I think down. they're doing that. They are doing it. I think they are doing that. Is there one that's not currently planned or in production that you think deserves Halo? Yeah, that's been on and off for that's so been, long. It's but off now. I want to see Halo really bad. I totally that's agree. That's one of my favorite storylines. I'd be afraid they screwed up, though. But I love the Halo storyline. I totally agree. Mm-hmm. I think Halo I mean, the original really trilogy. Well. I'm not a big fan of the newer ones. Yeah. What's, what's Okay, you have the character up on your shelf. What is that game? He's the big, the, the tall character over there. That's not oh, Uncharted. Uncharted. Uncharted, yeah. Uncharted would be a really cool. I for, totally blanked is on anybody. Is any of the other redoing Tomb Raider? Are they redoing? Yeah, yeah, they are. They are, and the screenshots or the uh, the on set photos that have been leaked so far. It's the I can't remember her name right now, but it is the uh, the girl who was in Ex Machina who played the robot. Oh yeah, which is, is a fantastic Croft. movie. Yeah, fantastic movie, and. All accounts are like all screenshots are pointing toward this is totally going to be a adaptation of the so newer like line of video games. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be like big busty Angelina Jolie. It's going to be like she really a busty? gritty, like fierce, tough more, woman. Like Angelina, it's going to be really going to be cool. more like Indiana Jonesy kind of thing. Guys, yeah, I think so. Do you guys, yeah, do you guys think Angelina, Angelina Jolie is pretty hot or no? Uh, she know. can be, but most of the time, no. she's. I feel like she's kind of dirty. We just got like really. <laughs> yeah, we just hit, we just pivoted a little bit. <laughs> We're going to come right back around, back to the games. So I what other games do you think that should be made into movies? I've, I've only had a, a small chance to play it so far, but okay. Horizon Zero Dawn, Ooh. I think, would be a fantastic... That'd be really cool, like, cool movie. I am really enjoying Can that you? game. Here's I, a weird thing. Like, I still want to play Are it. you actually going to go back to it? You're playing I know, so much. That's what I was going to say. Like, It's really so tough. So games, man, here's, come out. Here's like, the only reason that I will continue to play Horizon Zero Dawn. And I bet this is like, probably an issue for a lot of people that are like trying to decide between the two. Who, like, who have a Switch right now. Yeah, and yeah. like a PlayStation 4 and stuff. Because, it, I mean, I think... It's probably not a stretch to say that for hardcore like gamers, the Switch is like an additional console. Yeah. It's not like the console that you only have. Like it's like, oh hey, I really want to play the Nintendo games, like like I do, and I also have a PlayStation Four and Xbox because I like the console games and the single player experiences and blah blah blah. Um, but I got Horizon Zero Dawn, and then a week later, the Switch comes out, and like <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn is like a forty-five, fifty-hour game. Like it's a big open-world RPG. It's going to take a long time to beat. Yeah. And uh, then, at the end of this month, Mass Effect Andromeda comes out. And I cannot wait for that. That's one of my favorite game series of all time. Especially the second one was so amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh I can so I can tell you I've never played Mass Effect. Oh, it's a great story. It's Open a great... world. Learning about the different races and how they interact. It's just... It's Sci-fi. Actually, it makes you want yeah. to see so it. Would you want to see a movie of Mass Effect? 
I wouldn't mind seeing a TV show. Ooh, I like that. Like a Star Ooh, Trek okay. style TV show yeah. would be really who, cool. Who, what would it be on Netflix? I yeah, hope so. Sure. I mean, they, they, just, they do the best. Yeah, like twelve episodes, not something like they would just go on and on and on and on. So and like on Daredevil, day. basically. Yeah, like yeah. Daredevil is a really fucking good show. Yeah. There's um, just, but think about it, there's so many games that would just you wish they would make amazing movies, but yeah, it's like ah, they screwed them up so bad. Like Mario, you yeah. remember that movie? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Not, that movie. I liked it, but I was a kid. And it's yeah, in the eighties, so, so many like people say the like, Hitman movies. movies. I love the Hitman movies, and they were so. I, well, I, I like they weren't for me. I like the Mortal Kombat movies. Oh, yeah. back in the remember Annihilation the and stuff like those movies were fantastic. What, what about like what you just said about Hitman? How many reboots of Hitman did they actually do? They like, did two, right? They did two. Yes, two, two movies. they did one with Timothy Oliphant. I think was the most recent see, one. And the then reason, that. the reason that's not doing well, or at least in my opinion, it didn't do well, is that Hitman is a like a, gr- a greedy guy who kills people for cash, and that's it. And they put him and they make him like this good guy and, a, and he is a love interest. No, he's a killer who for who kills for money. I thought he was a True. number specifically. He's they, a clone, yeah. Yeah. So they, that's but he you. only cares about money and getting his goal. He doesn't care about women or helping people or anything like that. It's it, just a contract. That's I, all it is. I feel like that's a trope in video game movies. They want to Grinch him. They want to make him the Grinch. Yeah. Where it's like, <laughs> you know, like you don't you just want to ruin Christmas, that's all you want to do. But then all of a sudden your heart grew ten sizes that day. Like that happens for like Hitman as a character um, I think Logan in some respects yeah, a lot in, of the, in this movie and stuff uh, Deadpool is another one he's, he's a mercenary and then of course he becomes a hero more but I mean really the give him he was a, love a mercenary story and stuff. right off the bat he's yeah. in love I think it's just with any any movie there needs to be some sort of plot that has that in there and any successful movie there's always something yeah. along the no, lines I agree. Like the emotional attachment to some sort you know yeah I mean, how are you going to root you're, for you're creating You're creating this character to, to in a reality of like, oh, this could be me. You know, mm-hmm. you want to you see yourself into that character. Yeah, and Hitman, I mean, he's he's you don't want to watch a stone-cold killer the entire movie no, with no would. ambitions other than to murder Shit, people. Shit, dude, you know how crazy action movie that would be? That'd be awesome as hell. That'd be pretty cool. And I, give I, up your... I think that's, and I don't want to get too far into, like, the spoiler cast or anything, but I think that's what Logan did pretty well. I'll talk a little Enti- bit about that later. Entirely but, like, well. Um, okay, so I'm going to watch this segue. I'm going to totally reverse engineer that conversation to bring up the next topic I want to talk about. Uh, so in terms of video games based on movies, uh, it turns out, and Blev, you brought this to my attention, so I'm going to read this uh, sideways in my mic. Sorry if I sound weird. There are multiple new Star Wars projects this is awesome. in the works that have yet to be formally revealed. DICE and Moda Studios are teaming up with Star Wars Battlefront Two. Uh, while Dead Space stu- the Dead Space Studio is making an intriguing sounding game under the direction of Uncharted's Amy Henning. So, Hennig. Uh, and it, all that says to me is uh, some type of creative oh, mind wait, that was behind Uncharted was fantastic. And then, yes, this next the one is the, is the best. And Titanfall Studio Respawn is working on a third person action game set in the Star Wars universe. Like a Jedi? That dude. blows. My mind. I mean, all Imagine of those being are... a Jedi like from the creators of Titanfall Two. That would be fucking so much fun. Yeah, I mean, you got to get all of that. I mean, like uh, oh. Dead Space, amazing game. Mm-hmm. And Titanfall, amazing game. I mean, those are those are they're just gonna knock it out, knock them dead. Hopefully, no. I I don't know. Like Battlefield, not Battlefield, Battlefront. The last one I've, that just came out. recently. Oh yeah, that I was know, a letdown. It was kind of a letdown. You know, not Did a really. Did you get it? Yeah, I did, and then I returned it. I, okay. I totally, I agree with you. I have it, and I kind of want to dust it. You can get it for like ten bucks now, yeah. but like, I kind of want to dust it off and try it out again. Um, I really liked it for like four days. Yeah, like, I, I just think there was a lot time. of meat on the bones. That's a long time for that. Game. Actually, it is these days. Yeah, I, I, there, it was a really fun multiplayer experience. But I am still someone who craves single player experiences for games to, like that. No, but there's there's not a game out there that where you were like you could actually be like right now a Jedi. Like being a Jedi would be so. Well, what was awesome. the the Jedi Knight games? Did you ever play the Jedi Knight games? Oh my god, they yeah. were Jedi amazing. Temple, Jedi Temple. Oh my yeah. god, uh, the the uh, those were amazing games. My favorite Star uh, Star Wars uh, game of all time is Knights of the Old Republic. I know that's a whole different style of game. Oh my god, but I, mean, I totally agree with you. Oh my god, it's the best. Star Wars I was going to bring I've up. I was gonna, that was going to be my next question. Was what's your favorite Star Wars game you've ever played? Knights totally of, Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. The first one was absolutely original Xbox. Did you ever play it, Plev? I uh, no, I did not. It was sort of a turn-based sort of um, it's like RPG. You, yeah, you control Bioware. I think it was Bioware. Bioware, yeah, yeah. Same guys that did like Jade Empire mm-hmm. and okay. uh, Story stuff like that. is amazing. The interactions is amazing. Darth Revan, Revan, right? 
Revan. Yeah. Like, kind of became his own, like, oh, Darth Blevins. <laughs> I mean, it was a good. There was a good twist in it. Yeah. I mean, the stories, and you could choose. You, you when you're a bad guy, because you, you can choose your path. You can be light or dark side, and you can really oh, revel this in game. That. Okay, so I know what you're talking about. I, it, it came out for Xbox, and I didn't have an Xbox at the time, and so I bought a PC and bought it on PC just so I can play that. Just so I can play that game. We Dude. are okay. I am officially announcing this on this show.